Hey y'all, I'm excited to show you today's project because it is super quick, super easy, and most of all, it is super cheap. All you're going to need for today's project are some of these little terracotta pots that came from the Dollar Tree. You'll only need one of them. You can save the other one for some project later on down the line. You'll also need some white paint, or at least for the way I'm going to do it, um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this project, so whatever suits you and makes you happy, go for it. Um, I've also got two types of brushes. I think I'm mostly going to use the sponge brush, but I don't know. Once I get started, I might decide that I like this better. So again, for the brush, use whatever you like, what feels good to you. Um, then we're going to use this little stuffed bunny. Um, I got this at Walmart. For 98 cents but I got him home and I realized because I got him on my grocery pickup he has no tail the tail is very very important for this project so we're gonna make him a tail and that is why you're also going to need some white yarn if you want a white bunny tail if you want to spruce it up and make it a nice pastel or something funky whatever you want to do but you will need some yarn you will also need some sharp scissors. I've had these little babies forever. I had to break them out because I realized that my scissors like this were not doing the trick. If you use kind of dull scissors, and these really are, because I use them for lots and lots of things and they are abused. So if you use this sponge, you're probably gonna look, get a little bit frustrated. Um, making your bunny tail so the sharpest scissors that you have is probably your best bet so i will be back in just a moment and we'll get started on our bunny project okay so i left out one thing i forgot to tell you that we're also going to need a glue gun because how else are we going to attach the bunny tail to the bunny so get your glue gun heated up while you work on the other things and you'll be ready to roll the first step is going to be to just take your little terracotta pot and just lightly brush some paint onto it. I'm using white just to give it a nice little distressed look, but um, there's a lot of ways that you could do this. Um, since it is an Easter project, you could even paint your flower pot to look like an Easter egg and have the bunny diving in. That would be really cute. Um, or you can paint it just really any color you want. So just get creative with that. I'm just going for just a nice little um, distressed finished, almost just not really dry brushing it, but but almost just kind of just really light. I'm not worried about how it's going on, um, and I'm just using some plain white acrylic paint. So. I'm not even going to bother with the bottom of it or anything. I'm just getting that stuff on there. And then we'll just set that aside and let it dry while, while we do <laughs> the rest of the project. So there's just one little more, one more little area down here that we don't have paint on so far. And Just, you know, go back over where you think it needs more or, or whatever. It's entirely up to you. Get a little bit up here. And that's it. It's, it's done. Um, so as you can see, it's just kind of splotched on there. No rhyme or reason to it. Just kind of however you like it. Um, I do want to get just a little bit on this rim here. And that's it. That is the step one and done. So next step is going to be to um, make the bunny tail. Okay, y'all. So here's what happened. I only had one bunny, right? I had two pots, but only one bunny. And I went through the whole process of making the bunny's tail and putting the bunny's tail on the bunny and then realized at the very end the bunny's tail was on but my camera was not and so I didn't get that but I'm still gonna go back in a minute and show you how to do the tail but here's what we ended up with here's our little bunny diving into the pot 
hope you can see that. Here's his little ears sticking up, and on the back side, his tail sticking up. Um, I kind of wish I had gotten maybe a dark gray bunny to make um make him show up a little bit better, but he's still cute. Um, and for 98 cents. You can try it with whatever color bunny you want to. If you don't like it, go back and get you another one. Um, but I'm going to go back and do the the pom-pom now, or whatever you want to call that. Anyway, because um, after you do that, really, the, all that's left to do is just uh, stick it on with a hot glue gun. So I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so the first step is just going to be to take a piece of yarn, um, maybe 8 to 10 inches maybe a little less I don't know I just like to have enough to work with and just cut that off and you're gonna kind of for the size tail that we're gonna do I'm just gonna use two fingers to wrap the string around you can make it bigger or smaller by wrapping around different amounts of fingers like if you wanted like for a really tiny tail you're gonna go like that if you wanted a little bigger use three fingers and so on and so forth but um I find that it makes it a little bit easier to go ahead and hold the string between your fingers you just have to be a little bit careful not to get it caught because that's going to put it in the center of the loops this this string right here is what's going to tie everything together so just hold your string between your thumb and your forefinger there with this one already laid between um, the forefinger and well whatever okay had to regroup there middle finger we're gonna call that the middle finger because it's the middle finger that's 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 what it's called um, all right so anyhow we're gonna take this piece of yarn that we cut first and lay it between the first finger and the middle finger because that's going to be what's going to tie it all together and then we're going to start looping around those two fingers with our skein of yarn so it's already around there once we're going to go about 50 times just to make it kind of poofy if you want it poofier than what you saw in the previous video then go ahead and um keep on wrapping as long as you want to um, it just gets a little harder the more you wrap so it's hard for me to wrap and talk at the same time so I'm just gonna do this for a minute and then we'll come back and cut it there's a fuzzy yeah. Okay, so that's 60-ish, I think. It's a little bit more, but 60-ish, because I did 50 the first time, and it, it could have been a little fuller. But say this is what you're going to end up with. That, that string is still coming from the top of your loops and the bottom. So just pull that gently off your fingers without disrupting the loops, and then you're going to take those ends and just tie them together as tightly as you can and once you have them tied you're going to double knot it you want it secure enough that it is not going anywhere and once you get your loops cut then you're going to trim that too to just kind of blend in with the tail so just tie it really tightly and just kind of leave those hanging and start Take your really sharp little scissors and start cutting the loops because that is what's going to really, that's, that's what makes the tail. That's what makes it poofy and gets it looking good. So just start 
you don't have to do them one at a time I just take a whole bunch of them at once and and just cut and and I know it kind of looks shaggy right now but we're gonna give it a haircut in a minute to make it look a little uh, fuller and more uniform it's not gonna be perfectly uniform but we can definitely so we're gonna start with these these two ends that we tied and cut them down a little shorter when they're shorter they're not as floppy we want a bunny's ears to be floppy but not necessarily his tail so just cut those down to whatever length suits you um I'm taking mine down pretty short because I do think it looks a little fuller when it's when they're shorter so just keep on trimming those down to whatever length you like um they shouldn't fray too much if they do you know you can just cut that piece a little shorter than the rest it's not going to hurt anything and just shake off as you go and like I said you could use another color of yarn if you wanted a a funky bunny or to use some nice pastels you can do whatever you want just the same as you can also um, make him dive into a bigger pot than this one you know if you if you had him diving into a bigger pot you could put um, Easter candy around him that would be cute to make him look like a little Easter candy bandit but anyway I can't remember if I mentioned this already but I'm gonna use him on my little three-tiered tray that I did back before Christmas I love using that thing for all the seasons and um, I have some little piggies on him now and my great-grandmother's coffee cups I hope I didn't already say that sorry anyway I just love coming up with different things to put on my little three-tiered tray because it's it's so um it's such a good piece to use for seasonal decorating so if you haven't caught that video go back and watch that it's made um just from some dollar store things so I made the whole tray deal for just just a few dollars I want to say under ten dollars it's just um, pans from the dollar store and some candlesticks and painted it white and glued it together and oh there's a loop I missed get all those loops and see that tail is a little bit fuller and you can make it as full as you want just you know keep wrapping around your fingers till you got a whole bunch of um, thread that's what makes it fuller and you know like I said just cutting it short also gives it more volume so anyhow here's our bunny thing that's what we've ended up with a lot of different ways you could use this